Hi friends, welcome to Discover Agriculture YouTube channel. If you are not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe now. We are in an aquaponics farm. We use fish to generate our fertilizer. And the fertilizer is to uptake by the plants. And then the plants clean the water for the fish. So we have the completely recirculating, environmentally savvy ecosystem. Sounds simple enough. But if you have ever run a farm or your own backyard garden, you know there's more to it than that. For example, don't plants need special fertilizer? We cultivate koi and thalapia. Any type of freshwater fish will work with aquaponics. Because what we're looking for them to do is pretty much produce waste. We're inputting feed. They're metabolizing that feed in generating ammonia. That ammonia then gets converted over to the most usable form of nitrogen, which is a nitrate. Why a bacteria and occurs naturally in any of fresh water. So basically we are just mimicking what's happening in a freshwater environment and using that same science and technology to grow food. We all know plants also need a lot of water to bring in fertilizer nutrients to the plant's roots. At Green Acre Farms pumps are used to move the water throughout the system. We try to minimize how much electrical input we use, so we use primarily gravity flow to move the water throughout the system. So at the highest point is where the fish are. All that water flowing downhill essentially to where the plants are. And from that lowest point, we take a pump and then we send that water up to the highest point. But it's incredibly efficient because we can reuse really small pump only pulls about a 145 watts to move over 12,000 gallons of water. We have several different types of aquaponics growing styles or systems. Primarily what you see in a commercial type setting is what we call deep water culture, which is essentially a floating raft have the roots suspended down into the aquaponic nutrient rich water below. Mostly leafy greens lettuces in there. But what we also do is we grow with what's called media based style growing or flooding drains. Tend to see that more in a backyard or home gardener applications. Our fruit producing crops go really well. Longer term crops also go very well in there. We also have NFT, which is a nutrient film technique. It's very common in hydroponics, easily adaptable over to aquaponics. Have primarily herbs there. With this approach to farming, we provide a variety of produce for the local dinner tables year around. Leafy greens do exceptionally well, fruit production crops do pretty well. So we can grow lettuces, collards, kale, broccoli, tomatoes, cucumbers, eggplant, pepper, certainly herbs and things or things like that. And then we get the added benefit if it grows faster. We don't have that competition that we have in the soil for fertilizer. Because there's so much of it abundant. And there's not a competition for the roots to have to really put out a lot of roots to reach out for those nutrients or for water. It's all right there. So plants can invest its time and its energy growing up, producing the part we want, instead of growing down. It may look simple, but aquaponics use natural techniques in just the right balance. So we have several different living organisms. It's not just the plants, there is fish, there is worms, there is bacteria, that we have to consider. Make sure that we have good environment for all of those living organisms. And the results are high quality organic produce that is completely safe and nutrient rich. We like to say we have the best certifier regulatory agency out there. That's thousands of fish that if I try to introduce a chemical, I kill and I defectively put myself out of business. We get absolutely clean food, taste is phenomenal. We think that problem because there's no fertilizer, there's no chemicals, there's nothing to adulterate that taste. But it's incredibly fresh. So we can harvest that product out very first thing in the morning. We're selling the product same day. I think it's the best way to grow food. It's sustainable, it's environmentally friendly. It uses less than 10% of the water that's used in traditional soil agriculture. Hope you like this video, please do subscribe Discover Agriculture channel and recommend our channel to your friends. If you have any suggestions, please comment below. It may help our farmers too. Share this video with all friends. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good day.